Welcome to the fast-paced world of downhill basketball attacks. Strap in with us today as we teach you how to dominate the court with unstoppable moves that will leave your defenders in the dust. Let's get it. All right, now let's talk about how to dominate the court with unstoppable moves as I teach you how to get downhill. Downhill attacks, what are downhill attacks? Giving you now terminology. Downhill attacks are going directly at the basket. I don't care where you're on the court, you're going directly to the basket. In other words, you also are going right through your defender's chest. You're taking the move directly at them. You're not bellying out. You're not trying to be fancy and cute. We're talking about if this is defender of the chair, we're talking about going directly by the chair. Tight as we can, close as we can, so we leave them in the dust. When you create space, let me give you what space means in basketball. When a coach, trainer, somebody tells you, learn how to create space, space Specifically speaking, all my S's on purpose means separation and distance. And the only way you do that is to take your attacks directly at your opponent to create separation, which then creates distance. You can't do that if you're trying to go with counter moves, which is not wrong, but you're not really getting by. You, now you gotta make another move on another move, another move. It's too many moves, not wrong, that's great. It just not, it does not fit this situation. We're talking about one move and go. Put that in the comments below. Boy, I got some bars. One move and go, put that in the comments below. Right, you don't know what bars mean? That means I can rhyme a little bit. I got some rap skills, right? Having some fun with it. Now the move we're gonna focus on, it's just one move. It's an over the top crossover. It's an over the top crossover. Now I wanna make sure I explain to you all, I'm not carrying the basketball. My hand at no point in time was under the ball. When the ball is in the air, that's when you manipulate it. And what I'm doing is I'm doing one of the five dribbles you can only do in basketball. If you didn't know, it's only five dribbles I can do in basketball. I didn't say moves, I'm talking about the actual way the ball hits the ground. I can pound it, that's one. I can pound it to an inside out, that's two. We're focusing on the inside out dribble. Let me show you three, four, five. Three, four, five is a crossover, a between, a behind. So I got one, two, three, four, five. It's only five dribbles in basketball and that is it. Now the way we make moves is with footwork. So we're talking about the over the top crossover move, over the top crossover. Again, I'm going right to left, left to right. That's a crossover, a form of this crossover. Instead of me going below, it's going over the top. That's it. And now why am I doing this move? Let me show you why. Here's the benefit of this move. I'm keeping it very simple. Here's my opponent, I'm going downhill. When I go at them, my outside shoulder on the over the top cross becomes my inside shoulder. Now, I'm bodying them. I don't have to lower my shoulder. Now my inside shoulder is going to body them. They have no choice also when you do this directly, but to get on their heels and open up. And when they open up, they belly out. When they belly out, boom, imagine them open, so they go into it, right? When I, they belly out, now you have a straight line drop. It's their chest pushing inside shoulder, it was a straight line drop. Also giving you something else to be aware of is ball first, and second, defender third. Well, I like to say it, the ball's in first place, I'm in second place, and the defender's in trash place. They're last because they're trash. I got what I need, we go right by. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna actually give you some options from how to go over, over the top cross, and to also give, one, give you one counter as well. Let's get, let's work on the move first. Stationary, right? Just a couple pounds of them, stay low, and make sure that the balance Once you did this dictionary, you can now back up a little bit. 
transition breaks, quick strike opportunities. The whole point is you don't want your defenders to settle their feet. We want them on their heels, turning, again, belly and out, naturally. But we don't want them setting their feet. Once they set their feet, they found their feet, now we gotta run our offense. Not wrong, we gave them an opportunity to go directly at them. Two, when your play breaks down, especially if it's shot clock, you need a downhill solution, it's a great downhill solution. Right, home, half back, get right to the right. Right here. It's a great downhill solution. Right, when you're running your offense and a play broke down. So now let's go into attack and pass Right into the move. First option, all I'm gonna do is attack that chair, go and shake at it. Once I get close, over the top, pause. to reach 11,000 subscribers by the end of the month, and we need your help. We roll out high quality videos every week to help you become a premium basketball player. So help us reach our goal and click the subscribe button. All right, now let me show you the next move. We have Dr. Fitter did a great job of taking on your first move. Now you need a second move. Now the second move I'm gonna show you is a inside out dribble to a reverse heel step. And now why do you say reverse heel step? Here's why. When I make the dribble, I'm gonna take my footwork. I'm gonna finish it by bumping into it, I'm gonna fight it. And when the bump in, I'm gonna raise my outside foot. I wanna make sure I show you this. When I raise the outside foot, that's my zero step. I'm now allowed two steps afterwards. So it's like this. Again, I go inside out, zero, one, two. That's how I go first heel step. Because I lifted my outside foot, giving me two steps I can take to the basket. Going a little quicker here, boom, inside out, right? One, two, to the right. Now I'm going slow, you see the book on the first. I'm going left to right. Exactly. Yeah, and inside out, one, two, right? Right to your finish. 
over the top, use a bump up by stepping into it with the inside out drum. Bump up creates Mason separation and distance for your leg. Let's go. I want to make sure we're taking your game to the next level. So I'd like to offer you a gift that covers all the must know basketball principles. Click that link in the description below to download. And if you're really interested in becoming a premium basketball player or as a coach, taking your team to the next level, contact us for in-person training. That's right. We will travel to you and lead a customized camp, clinic, or training session that I guarantee you as players and as coaches will take your mentality and your physical skills in basketball to the next level to dominate in every game. Enjoy your gift, keep attacking, I look forward to talking to you soon.